Alrighty ho, it's moving day. So last night we went out for a meal, uh, and uh, when we got back, uh, we just basically uh, just chilled out for a little while, watched a little TV, uh, and then the coffee table, everything, <laughs> about 10, 10 p.m. we just started dismantling everything. Uh, and then it's good because uh, right now it's uh, we've been up since uh, 6 a.m. Uh, although we've been we've been awake since way earlier, like 4:30 4, 4 or something. Because when when you have to get up early, it's really hard to sleep anyway. Uh, so uh, the only box we have to seal is that one right there. Um, I think all the TVs and stuff they're gonna just go separately. Um, me like an idiot when I came here, I actually I actually brought the box for that TV, but I didn't think I was gonna move back so quickly. Oh well. Anyway, so the guy eight a.m. Uh, so. Hopefully we should be ready. Yep, everything seems to be done. Fridge I gave 24 hours. And that stuff is just excess food. I'm currently refueling. <laughs> Oops, and there's a knock on the door. Hello. Hello, a van on a golf blocking the Oh, naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, exactly, I know. Uh, the thing is, here in Berlin, because we're an apartment building, um, uh, the guys in the van have to park where these cars are here, um, but a little bit farther down. Uh, and they actually put signs up. When, when was it? Earlier this week? or I think three days before they have to. When did I speak to him? It was something like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they have to put these signs up, and uh, and now there's a go. Uh, for it. Now there's a Volkswagen Golf and a and a yeah. van that's that's parked there. Well, so, they kind of hope because it's from seven to seven. I uh, know. But if they're still there, then the police will be called, and then it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, you see, because we've paid for this, we we've we've paid for the license, uh, the temporary license for twelve hours to park a large vehicle there, so we can move, and so yeah. <laughs> The thing is, uh, they, they put like these temporary signs, it's sort of like when, when they do road maintenance to warn people that this is where they want to park. They put two, they put, they say between, and they have an arrow between each one, like uh, saying between here and between here, don't park at these times, so. We'll so one, one, like a one lane, I don't know, in Germany it's not a lane, it's a, well it is a lane yeah. but not on the road. Mm. It's the one that allows you to park for two minutes, mm -hmm. or we call it two, Put stuff in or out your car to let somebody in or out. It's not parking, it's just stopping. Yeah. And the double is that you can't even stop there. Mm. I know. Absolutely. Absolutes Parkverbot. Because <laughs> here there's two lanes. Uh, yeah. Um, so you could actually park in the right lane just to drop somebody. Park there. So currently keeping an eye out for the truck. Um, <laughs> It's funny, so far we're 15 minutes late and we're getting a little agitated, <laughs> you know, because... Uh, I have to clean up to do something. Corolla has to do something. I mean, me, yeah, I mean, we're, we're sitting by the window here, you know, like, looking out, and it reminds you of when you were a kid waiting for your grandparents to come or waiting for your friend to come from school, and it's like, is that them? Is that them? Every truck that goes past, we're all like, is that them? Is that them? And then it's like, oh, man, these guys are working fast. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen completely cleared. All of these boxes here. There's not really much left. Yeah, TVs. <laughs> Just a few bits in here. You're gonna have to get off the sofa. No. <laughs> if I put myself on the flat, they can just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Everything's in the truck. Uh, Keller, everything, uh, Keller, cellar, everything is uh, is sorted. I'm just having a lazy journey up in the elevator. It's only the second floor. <laughs> no. Oh. Hello. Hello. Next me here. It's a bit empty now, isn't it? Yeah. No. This is what our apartment looks like when it's empty. Oh, right. I need to send that router back. We need to clean a bit. We need to get rid of all of this crappy carpet. Yeah. Then, I 
and we're done here. Oh, what a lovely day it's been. So we're staying uh, for the next few days um, uh, to Corolla's parents, um, you know, while we're sort of uh, in between. Uh, because the thing is, we, we knew we booked our flights uh, provisionally on the 27th of May. and um, But the moving company said they could come any time between the 21st and the 27th of May. So we thought, well, we could always stay here. Anyway, so they came uh, yesterday, which was the 23rd. Uh, so it's not so bad. So uh, anyway, it gives a few more days <laughs> to get things done. Um, anyway, I'll, well, the thing is, you need those extra three days. We we thought this time that um, we'd be professionals at it. We'd uh, do it really early in advance. But as it turns out, uh, we needed like every day that we could possibly do. I mean, we could quite easily have, have worked like eight hours per day on packing and, uh, and stuff and gotten really, really stressed out, things mixed up or something. Um, but anyway, in, in the end, uh, it worked out okay. Hmm. But in this case, you know, like uh, me, I mean, I did most of the boxes, uh, Corolla did most of the uh, paperwork um, and things, pretty much all the paperwork and things, because obviously in Germany, um, she knows what's important and things. If it was the other way around, I'd probably sort all the paperwork out, you know, with the English speaking and making sure what's important and stuff. <laughs> so, but there's so much to do, you know, like you've got to deregister here. You you can't just simply up and leave like you can in England. Um, you just simply stop working, stop paying tax or whatever, you know, like, and, uh, and then if you get caught working without paying tax and that's different, but here you have to make sure that you deregister, you've got to de everything. <laughs> uh, and that was a nightmare as well to, uh, in the uh, in the local uh, in the local um, uh, town hall um, where you have to register deregister you know like get your car plates done you, you know your register your vehicles things like that um, they weren't taking just walk-ins they were only taking appointments only but we didn't have an appointment and the next appointment was the middle of next month yeah, we're not going to be here, so so we were able to squeeze ourselves in somehow. Anyway, yeah. Can we find a place to park? Oh yes. So we're currently here at the old apartment, um, just making sure that everything's okay. Man, this room looks so massive. <laughs> but when it's full of furniture, it's not actually that big. Although, walking out of the bedroom here, it did look like a pretty cool space though. <laughs> it is really, really cool. I oh, know. It's just a shame that we spent a fortune in the uh, wallpaper and everything, so all the lights are off. <laughs> Carpet is out. Everything is white. It's supposed to be white. Man, man, man. The thing is, we hardly ever open these blinds. It's mainly because the TV was sat on that wall over there, so... No. And I never really sat out here much, either. In the summer, it looks pretty good. 